Hello YouTube, Miguel here. This is my 1960 Birch High Fidelity record player. I got this at the Berlin Farmers Mart two years ago for 15 bucks. And as you can see, it's in good shape except for the worn edges. And the inside is very clean. The amp has been recapped and the changer has been lubed up. As you can see, it's a VM type changer. And the model number for this player is A59 and it's 4 speeds. I also had to put a new cartridge in it because the old one was shot but when I was installing this cartridge my hand slipped and broke the original needle so I had to replace it. I also bought a 45 stacker for it off VM Audio Enthusiast but this one doesn't work too well with this player so I gotta play 45's manually I'm gonna go ahead and give a demo of this and here's your volume and bass control well, here's one thing I want you to know Okay, let's try it out with a 78. Okay, here's a 78 that got me mad views on this player. And it is the ink spots. I don't want to set the world on fire. It's featured on Fallout 3. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my heart I have but one desire. And that one is you, no other will do. Okay, now an LP. Okay, as you can see, I'm a lazy ass because I did not bother to clean this record, but that's okay because I'm not playing it on my good turntable. So here we go. Try this again. There we go. Okay, let's take a look inside the amplifier section. Okay, here's the inside of the amplifier section. It uses a single 25L6 tube and a solid state rectifier, but I replaced the Selenium rectifier with a 
diode which is behind this 100 ohm resistor that I added with the diode and as you can see it has new caps here goes a 5 inch speaker with a, dual, with a wizard cone and underneath the magnet is the audio transformer and, and in some of my previous vids I've been getting a comment saying this player needs caps because it has a buzz in the background but the reason being although it does have new caps is because this amp is cheaply made so therefore it's bound to have a hum in the, a slight hum in the background but it's no big deal but yeah that's my 1960 Birch High Fidelity record player and I hope you guys enjoyed this vid bye